Paris Saint-Germain. Well, one half of the duo that had a starring role to play in last season's narrative. No doubt they will be looking to ensure that that narrative stays very much the same this season, and winning here would certainly be a great start. Their expectations for this Super Cup are high, and rightly so. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio do Dragao, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. First serious game of the season, Jim. What do you think about it? It falls somewhere in between friendly and, and fully competitive, I would say. Yes, you want to win a trophy, but you also know that it won't be the end of the world if you don't. I think pressure levels are, are lower, but then your competitive edge can't allow you to make it too easy for the opposition. So you have to give this what it demands. So we're up and running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Marquinhos. He's one of the toughest and most competitive centre-backs in the business. He's the kind of player you can rely on to always be just where you need him, making a vital interception or just making life difficult for the opposition to get through. And that's a, a very valuable characteristic. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Marco Verratti. Marquinhos. And it's Neymar. Neymar on a strong run down the right. And he's there to clear it. And here's Neymar. A really good feat. Neymar, loose ball, who's going to get that? Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Yazici, decent ball, timely intervention. Berati drives it forward. Neymar, he's found his man. Tries to get it clear. Mbappe! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Look, there are some very good headers of a ball in this team now, and they'll be demanding the right delivery to give them a chance to uh, to go at this. And it's Ferrati. Plays it out to the flank. Lovely bit of skill there. He's got through. Shot at goal! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! Could that be the start of something big? Oh, high-quality goal. Lovely first touch, sumptuous second.
Paris Saint-Germain have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Marquinhos battles to win it back. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Good ball. Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Messi. Paris Saint-Germain couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Yazidji. And the shot! No, not this time. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Forward it goes. It's got through to him. Well positioned to make that interception. Yazici. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Yazici. In comes the delivery. Donnarumma is there to take. Mbappe can't get the better of his opposite number. Renato Sanchez. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Chance! Yes, in for the follow-up. There's a goal! On the cusp of half-time, he delivers with perfect timing. Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Lille grab the equaliser and we're all square. It's pulsating, it's absorbing and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Neymar, he's got away. Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Neymar can really show some outlandish skills, which is always welcome and obviously refreshing. Hoists it forward. And there's the end of the first half. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. So we reach the halfway point. Oh, what a half of football. It's 1-1, but it could easily be 3-3 or, or more. Breakneck speed brilliance. So in they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. So it's back to business.
Renato Sanchez. Played out to the right. And the weighted pass. And he's there to cut it out. Sergio Ramos. Hakimi. Renato Sanchez gets it back. Out to the right. Gets up to head it! Oh, that is asking for trouble. Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Kimpembe, Marquinhos, some good work on the right flank, now what's next? And it's played forward. Paris Saint-Germain get it back again. And they've been caught out. Hits one! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! And they've got their lead back. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now, that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? Lille have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. And it's Messi. Mbappe. Mbappe has been caught there, it's a foul. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Driving on, he could shoot here! What a throw in. It's gone a long way up and away. Cuts it out. Mbappe. Messi. Messi hits it! It's anyone's ball. Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Yazici, a scorer already in the game. And it's Font. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Marquinhos goes looking. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Oh, some tackle that. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Just brushed off the ball there. Plays it out to the flank. Well, Red, he's sorted that out. Lille are definitely not going down without a scrap. 
their attitude just can't be faulted. He goes long. Messi going for goal. And in again. No mistake. And with that goal comes comfort. Neymar did well there. He was onto it in a trice. I might sound a little harsh here, but the keeper, I felt, could have done a better job in ensuring that ball didn't go back out into the danger area. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Well, that has changed the dynamic somewhat. It'll be a throw-in. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Mbappe! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Mbappe, has he picked him out? Hits one! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. Almost the perfect move, almost. The finish just wasn't quite at the same level. Battles to win it back. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Oh, it's come off the upright. He's missed, but not by that far. Oh, it's a very good effort. There wasn't much wrong with that at all. We're talking fine margins now. Martin tries to get it forward quickly. Renato Sanchez with the slide tackle there. Oh, he'd have done well to reach that. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Messi. Tries a shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. And the referee brings it to a close. Paris Saint-Germain have won it in what has been the perfect end to the pre-season. Whilst it's no guarantee of success when the new campaign does get underway in a week or so, it is surely a significant boost to morale and a significant statement of intent.